Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you enjoy watching adorable guinea pigs, learning how to care for them, seeing product hauls or reviews, and anything else guinea pig related, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell to never miss a video. Hello piggy people. So tonight I'm gonna to show you our evening routine. It's about seven o'clock, that's when I start. Our clock over there needs new batteries. It stopped a few days ago and I haven't changed it. So just like the morning, the very first thing that I like to do is give Pecan her medication. And sometimes it's a task of finding where she's hiding. But I do believe she is in the far corner in the little bell corner cube thing. So we're going to get her meds going. There's nothing for you guys. Yuckster. You don't need anything, buddy. So her medication is Cisapride. This is metoclopramide. I mean, I need to open a new gas drop. Um, excuse me. I don't think you need anything. So we use the Oval brand. I wish they made bottles that were way bigger. Like, make one that's like a one liter. So in one of these bottles is only 30 mils, and we use two mils a day. You're fine, Ray. You don't have to have anything. And one of these bottles here in Canada costs about $10. Some places charge as much as like 12 or 13 per bottle. So it adds up. So about 20 bucks in gas meds every month just for pecan. That's not if we need to use extra. Hi. Hi, Belle. How are you this evening? Were you reading a book? You're so cute. So anybody who doesn't know, Pecan is my oldest piggy that I have right now. She's going to be seven this year. I really, really hope we get to see seven in November. So the next pig down would be Apple, who's four. Huckle will be four soon. Ray will be four. Annie and Annabelle will be four. Uh, Reese will be three soon. Um, Angus is three. Velvet will be three at the end of the year. And Autumn will be two. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so we're going to start uh, tidying up. I'm going to start with the herd's cage. I like to start with their cage because it always feels like the biggest task since it's so large. So spot cleaning is something I do twice a day. So every morning and every evening I clean up. So it's just sweeping up poops, um, getting rid of any soiled hay, replacing hay. And I do change pads as needed. So for some of the pigs, the skinny pigs especially, I have to change their pad where their hay is basically once a day. For everybody else, sometimes I can do it every other day. Really just depends. And then as for pads in the beds, that too just depends on whether it looks like it needs to be done or not. So usually like they'll have fresh ones and then in the morning I'll switch them to the other side and then they get replaced. So we have so many pads to pick from. I rarely end up putting pads that match in the beds just because there's so many to sort through. Most cozy makers give you like two sets of pads per every bed that you get done. So we got a lot of pads, which is great though because it's nice to switch them out often to keep things fresh. So as for cleaning the entire cage, we do that twice a week here. That's what works for us. I would love if I could get away with just doing it once a week, but there's no chance of that happening. 
I just find by the time three or four days has passed, I cannot wait to clean the cage because I just feels like it needs it. I think it'd be different if the herd had like this entire huge cage. Let's say I didn't have other pigs. Then maybe I could see that we would make it a week. But for the sizes of cages I have now, with the number of pigs I have, twice a week is what we have to do. So it is what it is. It can be a lot of laundry, but on the flip side, I really enjoy them being on the fleece. And I like that I don't have to buy disposable bedding all the time, because that stuff's really expensive. I mean, fleece can be expensive up front, but once you get yourself a couple sets, you're good to go for a long, long, long time. If you bought a, like say three or four sets, I think that would be plenty, reasonably that would be plenty, but of course they have way more than that because I just love fleece. But I think for starters, if you got yourself four sets, that would be a perfect amount so that you could wash and dry some and have some in their cage and have some spare. And if you bought fleece right at the beginning of getting guinea pigs, I bet you it would last you the entire time that you have those pigs. Because if you get stuff made by really nice quality shops, it's going to last you a long time. Plus it's worth getting good quality fleece too. Not all fleece is made equal. So like really cheap fleece throw blankets probably aren't going to last as well as like the heavy duty yards of fleece that you can buy at different online shops. So we're going to flip these over. So all of our fleece has two layers of U-Haul. So they've used the top layer of this, so I'm going to flip it over so that it's fresh up here. And then come morning time, we'll switch to brand new stuff. So we recently wasted a lot of hay. Probably the last couple months we went through a ton of hay because... If you guys remember, not long back, Apple had the bladder stone issue so when a pig's not feeling right I just do hay piles absolutely everywhere just to encourage them to eat so that no matter where they are in the cage they can go grab a snack so we used a lot of hay for that because I just wanted to encourage her when she wasn't feeling quite right to eat a lot and then when the girls went through their space, so that was Reese and Velvet, same thing. As they were recovering, I just found I was giving like these huge piles just to make sure that they were eating tons. And I've kind of got a little carried away with these guys since everybody's been back and feeling pretty good. I go through stages of putting down like a reasonable handful and I wait till it gets a little bit low to add some more but then there's other times where I just like oh let's just put some more on oh I'll put some more on and then pretty soon they've peed on top of like a huge pile that you've got to throw out so now that everybody's feeling better I need to control myself I do like having piles as well as the hay boxes because I have some pigs who really do love like rooting around in the hay, sleeping in the hay. Apple's one of them. She loves to be under the pile. So like how can you deny little Apple that? But I do like still having the hay boxes in there because if any hay is too soiled for them to eat, I know they have their backup clean hay. So this part kind of got to be a mess. This is the one problem with giving hay piles. Is you start off with like a nice little bunch. It was just underneath this stool and now it is absolutely everywhere. But that's piggies for you. They are very good at being very messy. 
Now my one biggest issue with orchard grass is once it's been peed on, you can just feel that it's soaked. So we're gonna have to toss that stuff out, which sucks. So all the hay that I have, I just throw back outside into the trees. And then who knows if any wildlife uses it or what have you. And if not, it just goes back into the ground, really, so. Hi, Pecan. How are you, sweetie? Oh, somebody loved this tunnel today. Had lots of poops in there. Excuse me. Hey, Reese Bear. I cannot wait for winter to be finished. So right now it's about middle of February and we still have to get through March before April. It starts to be a bit sunnier out. April can still suck here in Canada for sometimes snow, sometimes a lot of rain, but at least we'll have more daylight. So right now it's still getting dark out at like six o'clock which sucks so I can't wait till we get to spring soon enough well, it make it, it's creaking it makes a terrible sound sorry about that So I'm going to tuck this one section under because it looks pretty dirty right where all that hay was. And there, now it is clean. Some people ask why I use the cat litter scooper to sweep up versus like the little brooms that come with these dust pans. And it's simply because it glides over the fleece so much easier. And I found with like a broom, A, it was catching on the fleece and B, like hay stuck to it like Velcro. So this to me is just way easier. Okay, so we're tidy. Let's get stuff put back. Oh, we need a pad for that one bed. One of my favorite things about guinea pigs is their curiosity. I just love how it doesn't matter what you're doing, they have to come see what's happening. Doing the same thing you do every night, but they gotta check to make sure nothing's brand new, cause you never know. Something might be set up, but just a little bit different. But that is one reason why I like to change up the cage setups every time I clean it out. I'll switch where beds are, or where hay is, and all of that stuff just so they have something new to check out. Because they definitely enjoy it. Is this sitting okay? I don't want it to fall over. Alright. So I'm going to put a little bit of hay back under there. Put a little bit, move that out of the way. So there, the herd is finished. So one thing I do like to give the herd every once in a while is some of the urinary support tabs. So I have a pill cutter for it instead of trying to chop this up with my hands. So these are the urinary support tablets that are from Sherwood. We've got cranberry in them, vitamin C, B vitamins. 
<laughs> high velvet. There you go, pretty. There you go, Apple. So it's just a nice snack for everybody. Okay, so Hucky's back here. Reesey Bear is over there. Where's Ray? Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Ray Ray. I was talking to you. Do you want that? Okay, Pecan does not like chewing them from halves, so you usually have to make hers in quarters or smaller. There you go. Velvy. Velvy. Where are you, sweetie? Oh, she's stuck over there. Is she coming back for more? Where are you, Velvy? Come here. Oh, she ran away. Did you even eat yours, Ray? Okay, you can have another one. I don't know that you even ate your other one. There you go, pecan. There's my Velvy. No, you don't want it. Hey, somebody left a piece in there. Was that yours, Reese? See, Ray took one and she left it. What's up with that? Are you liking it today? It's one piggy. Big girl. I can cut you up more. Annie, would you like a piece? Do you want a piece? Good girl. I'll put a couple pieces in there for Annabelle. We'll shake the dust over in here. Okay, so that's that. So we're going to move on to Angus and Autumn. sweeties. So when I set their cage up last night, I set it up opposite. So I put their hay station under here and then beds and tunnels over there just for something different. So these guys, I'm going to switch their pads for sure. Let's move there. So we'll put the fresh side up and then tomorrow morning we'll remove them completely and put new ones down. Okay. Time for your pain med. There you go. So that's uh, pecan has arthritis, so she gets medicam in the morning and the night. She gets a lot of medications. I know. If she didn't have to have any, I would love if she didn't need them. Well, that was a quick cleanup, wasn't it? Hi, pretty girl. How are you doing? Here we go. That is good. We got water. I'll probably toss a little bit more hay down for them. Hey, little munchkins. Velvie's got it right. She's in the cube with her head poked out eating hay. She knows how to live it up. Yeah. I can't reach. Oh boy. This is a good way to get hay all over the floor. Oh, you might notice all these liners here. 
it's so cold out right now so right beside there's the garage that down by the baseboards it felt cold so since we have a heater in here keeping it warm I just want to try to keep as much heat in here as possible so look how classy that looks I can't wait for winter to be over okay So I gotta come back. Um, these girls, they pee so much because they're skinny pigs. And we're back. I really need to have a day of just cleaning and dusting because it's getting so dusty up on everything. Because obviously there's hay everywhere at all times. Hi Annie. So I think these pigs, these two girls, look so pretty on these fall colors. Don't you, Annie? You also have hay stuck on your ear. Okay, I think Annie will get a new bed. That one looks a little bit wet. Are you eating your urinary tab there? Good girl, Annabelle. Annie's pretty tidy, really. She just has a lot of pee and poop right on these liners where she's eating all her hay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. So I really hope one day, maybe it'll be by April, that I get to try these two back together again. Because if you know or don't know, she goes for her spay. So Annie's already been spayed. Annabelle goes for her spay in March. together and then let's say if these two go really well maybe these four but we'll have to see I have no idea what to expect but I think it's really a miracle they made it together as long as they did I think it's probably only because they were born together that they never got into like a terrible fight because they definitely were not happy on the day to day together with all their hormones but let's hope that after this little miss is spayed that she's feeling like cooperating with her sister and I don't want you guys to think that's the only reason I'm spaying her because obviously there's a big chance they might not go back together one of the most important things is I want her to be able to relax and feel calm and not be stressed out from her hormones. There we are, pretty girl. So I gotta go grab Annie another bed. Okay, so we are finished. So one of these days soon, I really need to clean this up. So I need to like dust all the surfaces, especially over here. I need to sweep out all the hay that's stuck underneath where these bins are. It'll be some spring cleaning coming up soon. Needs to be done. Hi, Reesey. Hi, BB girl. How are you doing? Oh, you're so sweet. Are you going to lay down at all? So, very interesting thing. If you guys remember, I could never pet Reese like this before. She hated it. She hated when you were petting, like, down like that. 
and lately she's been letting since she's been spayed she's been letting us pet her like that which is really cool and she's doing like the first stages of laying down as you saw she got back up but that's the exact same way apple was before apple trusted to just stay laying down so we're getting there i think she's gonna be like the little tubby 2.0 aren't you you're gonna be like pecan pretty soon she's getting there just very interesting now that she's not sensitive about you touching her sides yes you're being so good All right guys, so all I have left that I do later is fill up any waters that are low so that everybody's good for the night. And then I come back in here like a million times before I go to bed to interact with the pigs, to check on their hay, you know, all the good stuff. All right guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!